You know, I've been in the outdoor industry now for, for 20 years. Um, the focus for Josh and I when we hunt here is, is management. We get more enjoyment out of, you know, focusing on specific animals or specific groups of animals that will better the ranch. So we hope when, when guests come to visit Josh and I at the ranch, you know, they have a, they have a fantastic time. But I can tell you over the past two years, it has been way more work than I ever thought it was gonna to be to get this ranch at least closer to where, where we wanna go. Um, most of our days here, when Josh and I put out hunters, are spent filling feeders, clearing shooting lanes, putting up new blinds. It's an awful lot of work. Well, there's one area of the ranch where we had a lot of bucks and um, they're putting pretty heavy pressure on this one spot. And we, we saw, I got a quick glimpse of a buck in the brush. I mean, just a quick antler shot. We didn't really know what he was. He came out really quick, he was gone. We decided to go back to that stand the next day. And we looked at this buck, God, it seemed like two hours, probably about an hour. And he was doing everything you want to see a buck do. He was checking scrapes. He was rubbing, he was doing licking branches. I mean, anything you could think about from a deer magazine, deer behavior wise, this buck did it. But we just were not sure of where he was on the age chart. Sometimes in South Texas, it gets, you know, with these bucks that are, that are in the management category, it gets really tough to decide if that's a shooter or not. Um, August and I looked at him for a long time. We had fun watching him, but we decided, you know, we better go back to the camp and uh, over dinner decide if this thing was, was one that we needed to harvest or not. So we had a big meeting over a plate of uh, rice and peas and uh, steak and decided, well, the other guys told us basically that we were crazy. They couldn't believe we didn't shoot that deer. Um, so the plan now was, well, we had them for, you know, over an hour the day before. Let's go back and try to do it again. So we were having this, you know, every now and again you have these weeks where you can do no wrong. And every time we went and sat uh, at a stand, whatever we were looking for came out. It was just one of those weeks. I leaned over to August and I said, well, let's, let's get this done before 4 o'clock. The feeder goes off about 4.15, so we were joking around. We want to be back at the camp, deer in the cooler, fire built before these guys even started seeing deer at their stand. Well, guess what? Another good management buck. Oh, tell you what, that's a pretty.
pretty Texas deer. Again, this is another deer. So it's always a great week when, when Josh and I get to hunt down here. Um, unfortunately, we got hunters coming in, so I'm going back to, to working. Um, but it was great. The, the deer we wound up harvesting, we pulled the jawbone on it. What we thought was a four-year-old deer was a six-and-a-half-year-old deer. Perfect management buck, a perfect hunt, and another fantastic week here at the ranch.